Uh, we do need like way more people, just way more, way more dum dums in the city. Uh, so we next on the list is bam, Far East and Shady Side. Actually, while we're in this sort of region, I was talking about filling this whole area in with just like just crap. I want it, I want it a bit busier. And where do these train stations go? Do we just connect up to that? Uh, let me just let me just check. So the this train station it goes along and it comes around and loops over there. Oh, and I guess then these guys just join in on that side. This train station isn't really a thing. So let's get rid of that. Why not? And, you know, we can just move that a little bit. Oh god, there's like a minor train derailment. But, we got through it. So yeah, I just want to like, kind of, uh, kind of just like jam a few more more just like little little houses and stuff in and around here. Just kind of like fill up this area. Or we, I guess we could just do the tree thing. Hmm. Interesting. But no, let's just kind of like make it a little bit busier. Are those power lines actually doing anything? I guess the delete and find out system it's an interesting one. Uh, I don't think they were doing anything. Perfect. So we've got this bridge that currently goes nowhere. So I guess this can. Oh shit! Okay, right. They did loads of stuff. We fucked it. We fucked the power. But not in a sort of. Uh, rebellious way, just a, uh, you know, we done goofed. We done goofed. You done goofed. Shit. Okay, right. Let's connect to there. Um, and maybe even have like a connector over the main roads down to here. Okay, right. Crisis averted. Power has been restored. Hooray, yeah! Oh man, that could have been messy really quickly. So this, you're coming down, down to here. And I wonder, can you, can you curve? Maybe if you come along, oh. Yeah, we'll just have kind of like a little hidden area with a few kind of like houses and some shops maybe uh, just houses that have kind of like sprung up around this area I think I think that'll be kind of cool the train folks you know these guys it's like a like a hobo town started up all the all the train riding hobos and maybe a we could have like a just like a tunnel. Nope. No, we can't. Ooh, the mystery tunnel that goes nowhere. Uh maybe. Ooh. There we go. That kinda works. And then we'll give them just like a few little shops to go and hang out at and then all the rest is just gonna be just houses as far as the eye can see and some of those houses are gonna be right next to super busy roads but I don't really mind I'm kind of okay with that here we go something like this and then we just get the old tree brush. Bigger tree brush. And we'll just kind of like fill in this area. 
See, like, oh, man, that tip. Hopefully you've all gone away and you've tried out the fantastic tip. Because <laughs> it really, man, it really does work. It's a bit dense by there. So dense. It's so dense. Every single image has so many things going on. But not the end of the world. No, I want bigger trees. Uh, yeah, like this. Sure. You want them to spy here too? Yeah, I think that kind of works. That's kind of cool. Let's just tree up this whole area too. I think kind of like big, big tree, like wooded areas are actually kind of, kind of cool. There, like that. Oh. Okay. No one's moving in yet. Oh, they're gonna need, gonna need water. But that is gonna be all right. And they might actually need some kind of entertainment down here. Can we fit like a big park? Shit, we made this whole area a bit fucking huge. Oh, what's this? A little plaza with trees. Sure. That should hope, hopefully like excite them up. They've got plenty of other like kind of like nice stuff around here. Uh, have another plaza right by the main road. Blammo. Let's just make that area people pretty into it. So, what's going on? Landfill usage. People are complaining about not having their trash picked up. Are these guys empty. 1% full. Ugh. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. We'll get back to them. Later on. Oh no, everyone's moving out. Abandoned. Oh, I guess just like not enough people. Okay, boom. Fill in this bit with crap. Put in a cargo thing. We nailed it. Fucking nailed it. So, next up, like, so we need, well, we had a lot of people demand, but I guess people have just started moving in. We need like way more shops and stuff. So I think just like quickly finishing off this whole kind of area by here. No, oh, we need those for water, don't we? Uh, so we need like way more shopping. And I kind of think maybe like Ovlobutia can get, can get a lot of the shops. But sort of just like grid, grid this area out a little bit more. Something like that. Although, do we want more of those archways? I kind of think so. How are we gonna do it? I think we need like little, little roads and then, where's my archways? Cause we need to keep like, Asian town looking, looking pretty good. Okay, perfect, right. We've got some archways, two way streets. Bam. So you know when you're going, going into Asia Town. It's a big, big old grid right there. Uh, let's let's grid these up some more, like that. And maybe this needs to kind of like connect over to. It's a bit, it's a bit hilly, but maybe they'll give it some character. Why not? Sure. Uh, and but we will kind of loosely just like flatten out the other bit. I don't want it too, too wacky. Okay, so we are we are getting rid of these roads. Okay, so, man, oh, Asian town. Asian town's gotta grow. Like, you know, a lot of people wanna live in Asian town. It's like the, the up and coming property. If you wanna invest in the city, I'd say put all your money in Asian town as, you know, they, they, they know what's going on. 
They know the score. Do you want like a mega road? Or just like double road? I kind of think double road. So I imagine like some of the uh, the Ovlobutia citizens are not as into as into Asian town. They've kind of like moved in and are uh, uh, absorbing their thing. This used to be like a nice little suburb, but now it's kind of like getting a bit more industrialized. But Ovlobutia. You've got to wait, make way for progress. You can't just be stuck in the past the whole whole time. And maybe that road through there. You just like move these guys further up the hill. We do have power problems if we do that, but it'll be okay. Let's pause it. Let's move some things. You've got to make way for progress. Everyone, get out of my way. Progress is happening. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh. Ding, ding, ding. We did it. We fucking did it. Bam. Uh, we need... Oh, maybe we should run power down from here, because we're going to be deleting those in a second. Uh, okay. So we've got some grids. That's all good. Let's throw out one of these big guys. Uh, hmm. Can't really make that any neater. Fuck it. It'll be fine. Probably. Sure. And... Then I guess coming up to this hill, just a few kind of like smaller, smaller roads. These can be kind of like curvy because I think it's a good idea to have um, like sort of smaller, smaller houses and stuff outside. Tom tip number two: if you want to make your city look look cool and a bit more natural, you know, if we if you're having high density and stuff, get some. Uh, you know, put some low density, like make it look a bit more suburby around the outside. It'll, it'll look like so much more natural and realistic. This is, this city is definitely very realistic <laughs> when you look at stuff like this or, uh, you know, the garbage cats. Realism is number one. This is like the main factor. When I'm deciding, should I put this in the city? I think, would this be realistic? And if the answer is yes, I do it. Uh, that's, as you can probably tell, that's not true at all. Um, this city is just a mess. 